right here we go and even even got the skunk out after uh, it took a while a to actually find all parts for the skunk and b the game also decided to load about as long as one uh, one royal ring or so uh, apparently due to that port all the uh, existing DLC for it recently, so it most probably sorted something out file-wise, would imagine. Also, uh, an observation for if anyone has been wondering why no announcements are no longer posted on the uh, Twitter account that is actually for the streams, the problem is that uh, X, formerly known as Twitter, and apparently Mr. Musk or one of his five remaining employees did something that caused the account to disappear from the bottom left menu that actually had both uh, both accounts in it, so have been unable to post to it very lately, and even if uh, this one not be quite 75 years old, have not been able to get it back yet, so uh, hopefully soon uh, discover what to do about it, because at least uh, if, if nothing else, they certainly are innovating, apparently in all the wrong departments. So, other than that, we most probably should try Crusader Kings 3 out. Originally had promised a tactical puma for this, but actually felt like wearing at a skunk, which of course sure works. And also it's easy to read the really small UI text with the skunk, because it seems the game provides UI scale and then immediately shows a red warning if you scale the UI up to 100%, some parts will be off the screen. That's not helping, like yes, we provided UI scale, but it doesn't do what you want. Yes. So, uh, other than that, let's take a look at uh, game game itself and see what happens. So here we are, and it has some elegant, elegant people, and a king with the proper beard, the unrotatable. Let's choose new game, we tried this long ago with one of these, and you can like select two starting time points with a few characters lined out. You can also choose like, pick any ruler or create your own, but it's like... I do think we could also try one of the medium ones, like these are apparently picked out as interesting persons, persons, so would imagine that the Duke of, Duke of Apulia would be interesting, like we do have also some possession in Sicily, so we could try to become Lord of, Lord of all Sicilies, so Duke Robert de Hauteville, who apparently Despite a very French sounding name, rules the southern Italy. Unsure how much luck we have with. Apparently, at this point, uh, the Holy Roman Empire is not yet controlling like mo most of most of most of Italy, but somehow buried that the HRE uh, will come and do this one's skunky skunky butt in so then we have a lot of very small text uh, robert started out his career as a thief uh, sounds promising head of a band of highwaymen that's very respectable career being one of many siblings the adventurous uh, son was never predicted to become a brilliant strategist and statesman, ruling vast areas of land. Yet 
here he is, a powerful duke of southern Italy, ready to take on the path of history which will enable the Hauteville's to have a foothold in Sicily for over a hundred years. If you can consolidate the power in the realm, the kingdom of Sicily awaits its ruler. Yeah, that sounds like a ca ca career on the rise, certainly, if you start as a thief. Most probably a bit more fancy thief, though, because like highwaymen were of course known as Knights of the Road, which of course gives quite pleasant view of the less than friendly encounters with the gentlemen of the road, possibly thinking uh, they might like your property better in their own coppers. So, you most probably could try out, because these are probably meant to be like tutorial ones, as these are prepared scenarios, and like you can choose any achievements are apparently available, so we do not have to choose. Have to choose. Iron Man mode. So, do you think that would work well enough for the first? First play in this respect. So let's then push start. There we go. And then we load again. Do think at least to hope that the loading time isn't as uh, magnificent. Now that actually went pretty well. Hmm. Yeah. There are a lot of really, really, really small buttons. You have 1,000 messages. Let's see what actually happens if we just put the UI scale up to 100. Let's see what falls off the screen. That much yet, and it's much more readable. Because even without Pursuit, it wouldn't be very readable in the uh, original, like, uh, seven, uh, 70 or 60% scale. Alright. And most probably it's much more readable for also stream viewers. So let's try this and see what falls off the screen. So no lifestyle chosen. Alright. Diplomacy Marshall. Stewardship. Alright, martial education we already have, or at least one for highwaymen, so most probably do think that this would suit the character the best when we compare, compare these, and most probably 
will have some necessity. All right, and that's a lot of options. Result in selecting the lifestyle, apparently not. Main issue is that most probably we are missing like a bit of that. So let's see what it does if we scale the UI like a little bit. Uh, like what if we do 80%. Because clearly some things do not really work with it. Alright, we need to choose a focus next. Now everything seems to be on screen as far as the specializations go, so... Of course, if we choose strategy focus, so it's quite clearly already have most of those unlocked. So, let's choose ch chivalry focus. All right, and we already have. Some things developed, so we most probably now have lifestyle chosen, yes. Available dynasty legacy. Alright, we clearly have traditions as far as weddings go. Oh, hello, Teotika. Let's greet you properly on the main screen also. So, good to see you here also, also, Tika. It's been, it's been a while since at least remember seeing you, so welcome to the stream and... Oh, hello there, Zax. Good to see you also, were you also watching the earlier stream with Mordrud and the poker game maybe? So, uh, let's switch back to the game and contemplate traditional Hot Wheel weddings. Uh, House of Warriors, certainly. Mostly fair, that sounds like a great law. Uh, sound administration, mostly fair. Yep. Omino's reputation. <laughs> yeah, that's great to have. Let's have traditional hot wheel weddings too, like that. It gives a grand weddings, both uh, prize bonus and bonus acceptance, increased chance to generate a temporary strong hook on Liz who like you at grand weddings. All right, sir. Your dynasty has locked tradition, unlocked traditional hot wheel weddings. That sounds elegant. And activity available. Grand tour. Host a magnificent tour and pay a visit to your vassals and their lands. Each stop will have two months to race and that sounds like a lot to do. We need to first maybe check the overall situation of the realm before doing like very Nice royal tour of all the provinces. Sounds interesting. And
let's see what else. Uh, Grand Tournament. Yeah, that most probably is expensive to hold. Alright, advice and education. You can most probably understand that. Legitimacy expectation, all right. What them left? Recognized ruler, two out of five. Your Averaki expected legitimacy. All right. We need to keep, uh, stay, form hybrid culture. Cultural accept acceptance is high enough and your culture is more than 50 years old. Alright, so there are various cultural traits. Cultural innovation. Yes. New features clearly. And we have quite a few messages. You are not employing a court physician. That sounds kind of worrying. No. Ah, oh, great to have you here, Sanchi. Let's uh, greet you and wish you, a, wish you a good night at the same time, so here we are. And also good night to Sanchi once you go, so. And hopefully Jax doesn't have any like major, major problem, but it's like something scheduled, because of course that sounds uh, a little bit ominous, like the ominous reputation that could have had as a, uh, as a Dynasty, uh, dynasty tradition in the game, so you're not employing a court physician that we should certainly do something about it. It's usually good to employ a physician, court physician, and who do we have as options? Aptitude 4, terrible! Wow, great, great people we have for. by aptitude, so we have poor and terrible candidate. Sure. Let's appoint the poor candidate. So missing antiquarian, caravan master, wet nurse, court tutor, master of hunt, Senegal, and about 10 million other. Court jester, hmm. One should of course employ a jester. Ah, yeah. The C, C pap. That's certainly usually useful. So you like air more. Do remember you were queuing, queuing for that, so it's good to hear that you're actually getting, getting the device. There are practically two major makers only for those, so it's either Philips or Resmet, and uh, of course uh, Philips has been putting most effort nowadays into the medical field. They no longer make like basic hi-fi or TV or such, they mostly make like some appliances and medical stuff because of course that has higher profit margins. 
so let's see what else we can do is food taster hmm might the point might the point like some someone who likes food as the food taster royal architect wow there are really many court positions in this this new new game like you can also appoint a royal executioner that sounds very apt <laughs> court musician hmm you can also appoint a court poet which is of course nice write some nice poems poems some ha how good the king is can also appoint him to different duties. They can also control plague, answer with the poor aptitude. They can perform advanced research. Yeah, a lack of aptitude. Divine charity, that sounds good. And we of course should provide a guardian for all the children. Hmm. So who, who we have for guardian? So how is there? Diligent sounds like a good enough trait. Propose that and see how pleased they are. Apparently, they also were pleased at. Then we still have a couple who need a guardian, so. Let's assign the knight for the female some courtly courtly elegance maybe let's propose that apparently they are also pleased and then we also have the other daughter this is at least of our house so our nephew of course would be probably also happy there we go now everyone has like someone and yes this game is a lot like also intent to stream at some point uh, hearts of iron tree which is pretty similar like you have a very slow dynasty simulator for medieval period and then you have excel simulator for the second world war so uh, what else we still have that should be taken care of you can create an accolade all right that point knight to acclaimed knight sounds good Proves, of course the 16 Proves guy sounds like a good. Every acclaimed knight has two accolade attributes, one primary and one sec secondary. Alright, so they get two attributes, marauder and disciplinarian, sounds good. Each attribute gives you and your armies various bonuses as the accolade gains glory. This is very, 
we have to say that if the fir uh, second game was complicated, this goes much, much, much further in terms of like every possible thing you can imagine a micro micromanage. Clearly has a button. So, uh, each attribute gives you, yes, uh, the primary attribute is always part of the accolade and cannot be changed on accolade succession. You can now create this accolade if you want, more accolades will become available as your culture discovers innovations. Good. Probably better innovations than Mr. Musk, but create accolade. Sure. Stowing this honorific will increase the acclaimed knight's opinion of you. Alright, and it costs 100. Seems we have even enough resource. Alright, and they gained, gained the title of the Hornblower of Apulia. Sounds excellent. You could declare wars. Yes, let's not declare one quite yet. You can station a man at arms breachment. You have men at arms that you have not stationed. By stationing your regiments, you make them more powerful and better at fighting, which can be vital for winning battles. That sounds fair enough. If you're better at fighting, you most probably will be winning battles. Uh, let's station a regiment now. To continue, click one of your men at arms marked with the text unstationed. Yes. You can station one regiment of men at arms per holding in your domain. All holdings are valid for every regiment type, but give gr some give greater bonuses than others. Let's select a holding to station this regiment in. Click the change station. Yes. Station in Rossano. Prefer this because it's closer to Sicily, which would consider very possible. Stationed in Rossano. The men at arms is now stationed, as you can see how much better it became. Underneath this port, right? All right. There are some bonuses. 2.5 additional damage, one additional toughness. This is especially important if you conquer or inherit new territories, or if you decide to specialize a holding with buildings such as plumeries or small tables. Very well. Now we know how to station them, and we have two more unstationed. So. Station one in Tranny and now it seems we do not have any. We also should station the sheets equipment. Right, we only have two where we can actually station them so. We can't station the siege, siege one for now. Alright. Then we still have a few knights. Can we create more? And how? Invite knights. Knights are summoned to visit your court. Yes, please. As the Duke of Apulia, I need brave knights to defend the realm and conquer new lands. I will send out a herald to let my subjects know I am in search of skilled warriors. 
At least three able-bodied men with twelve or more prowess will arrive as guests at court within the coming months. Invite knights will be unavailable for ten years. Alright. Send the herald. Very well. The heralder. Sounds, sounds elegant. And then we still have a few decisions to consider, but we have like gotten through the initial decision load almost, so that's a good start as far as things go. As noted, the game has even more different patterns you can push and micromanage things uh, than the previous game. You could declare wars, yes, not quite yet at least. You can create the Duchy of Calabria. Uh, do wonder if there is any specific advantage to also include parts of Spoleto and Salerno. So we could also claim ourselves as Duke of Calabria. And it costs. Yep. Do think we should claim claim ourselves as the Duke of Calabria. So we should have more possibilities as we are. We also bear that title, it should for example allow easier annexation of Salerno if we can later get there because we have the title that also includes the Salerno and part of Spoleto. Yep, here's the Holy Roman Empire, we are not going there, the HRE certainly would be living daylights out of us. So, we could exchange hostages. We could also create the kingdom of Sicily, but we should probably own a bit more of Sicily. You can negotiate alliances. Wars are on offer. We could declare war on Sheikh Yusuf the second. We clearly have quite a few options to declare wars on some. Now do we, we try and unpause the game? Yes. Normal game speed. Alright, and now we should most probably look at developing our provinces also, as to know that one needs to build buildings. In, in the towns, in the provinces, so... Alright, there's at least Barony of 
and bishopric uh, and city of Cephalu who has mayor and then we to think that we can somehow like build yeah build buildings in these which costs considerable amounts of gold which we do not currently have that much so all right so by the grace of God and Saint Peter but with grace of a few old friends from my days as a highwayman I could rule the entirety of kingdom of Sicily no matter what the Pope or the Emperor thinks time to get to work It's kind of better to annoy also the Emperor. Uh, kind of would say that would not be very interesting to annoy the Emperor. Would feel more safer annoying the Pope considering how big the Holy Roman Empire is. So. Alright. Good night, Sansi, and let's also, if you didn't yet leave, will anyway wish you good night on the main screen. So, good night, Sansi, and uh, let's choose exactly to annoy only the Pope, which sounds fair enough. There we go. Seems fair enough, so we in any case have claims to all of these, so we should at some point consider going to war. Right now we have more knights as guests and we can Recruit them once we have enough gold. All right, spouse, up to the task. Some of my counselors believe the top is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. I expect results, yet I am often disappointed. After a long day, I am complaining to. Uh, yes, not going to write. The pronounce that when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. Give a few lessons to my steward. Alright, they might not be happy that this one's wife is giving them advice. Perhaps you have some advice for Spymaster Abelard. They always kind like bonuses. think that it's most useful like to, because they actually gain more opinion if they stay with uh, us because it's like advising the advisors might not give a good image so wife stays and yes we have we have more knights available now but not really enough resources to hire them See, like, all right, these are actually Muslim controlled, so in that respect, it would be easy to declare war on, war on them due to less than compatible religion. Let 
it's also switched back to the game after elegant few minutes with the skunk discussing their options. So We can declare war on them directly. We would also need to make sure we have a bit more possibly all right they clearly have less less troops available so I'm not sure how many other. There's also minimal shake of Malta. Yeah. All right. Emma comes of age uh, with the with the guardian also who has very shiny helmet. I am proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult. Even as a child, Emma always had a way with words. It is therefore unsurprising that she has taken well to the study of diplomatic relations. A true silver tongue, she could sway the opinion of counts and kings alike. When she speaks, the court listens in enraptured silence. Then grow fast, indeed. Really. Skilled diplomat. Also two other messages. Red of Sicilian culture, the eclectic mix of peoples in southern Italy and Sicily has given rise to rise a unique culture affected by the myriad of influences. Now it is clear that people of county of Rosano no longer see themselves as Greek, but as native Sicilians. An interesting development. nephew, Count Abelard, is known for his prowess in military matters, especially in areas where I have found myself lacking. Sure. Let's see if we learn something from him. Clearly a renowned warrior. Alright. 
as we are not doing Iron Man mode, do you think we can just save the game and then Holy Warrior Nephew, despite Count Appelard's best efforts, nothing he tells me of uh, demonstrates makes any sense. That went very well. And it was like only 21% chance that we learned nothing. Very smart. So, let's see if we declare war on the Sheikh. Belly is clearly holy for, for war for Dutchy at this point, Dutchy of Sicily, namely. Also, two other. skill set is only beneficial. Would I agree that it would be actually useful to <laughs> train something else like stewardship so and yes we Apparently we can't declare war yet. Due to apparently lacking level of devotion in matters of faith, so... Alright, and we also have all the possible doctrines, including Deviancy <laughs> is criminal. Oh well. So we should apparently develop something useful in matters of fate to gain more uh, to be able to declare war on the basis of a holy war. So. So the fates can be tuned. Available perks. Ah oh yeah, we can choose a new lifestyle perk. Courtship. Roman scheme power plus 30%. Also elope. Yes, courtly love, you say. Chivalrios indeed. Right, we also have a plague spreading nearby. Kaiser Heinrich's box. That sounds very desirable, Mr. Heinrich. Like the Holy Roman Emperor has his own box. Nice. So, we couldn't declare war on that basis yet, so... Let's see, does 
we have a lot of is our bishop up to his task like stewardship 13 Learning is eight, which is that high. There be better. All right, we can't in any case change the bishop because we do not have investiture to uh, appoint bishops ourselves. We have no revocable clerical appointments, so. Right, Mr. Shake didn't like us. Somehow not surprised. To the lumbering Duke Robert. I have been corresponding with your Chancellor Count Joffrey and it has been shameful diplomatic display. You are not the man I thought you were. I do not think he would be very happy anyway with the Christian ruler corresponding with him. As I lean over the map in the council chamber, a sudden creak turns my head towards the door. My daughter Matilda appears in the hallway, saunters into the room, seemingly uninterested in my presence. Then without warning I am enclosed in a tight hug. Oh. She quickly lets go with an embarrassed expression. I look at her a hidden tear in my eye while my hand is squeezing her shoulder in an effort to reciprocate the gesture. A good daughter, very good. So, let's then wonder, wonder more about like we could probably appoint. Yeah, 18, so they can marry. To abhorrent Duke Robert, due to, uh, due to your obvious lack of piety, a condition which varies the church greatly, I have granted. Count Abelard of Camarda, a climate du Duchy of Calabria at his request. Yeah, Pope wouldn't be happy because we practically. And we have about 10 children more in need of guardians. Yeah. Uh, so, let's see if we can now. We can now create more knights. Whatever button gave the opportunity for that indiscreet counselor. Having served me faithfully as my steward, I entrusted Count Robert with the ability to travel freely within my court. However, I have now learned he has taken advantage of my hospitality by being indiscreet with my daughter Emma. Alright, that holds true. Most probably it's more useful to have these two later threaten him, so it would be a shame if this got out. Lines about legacy. The latest work of my vassal called Geoffrey has become all the raids at the court of late. The peace deals with memory and what we leave behind and Geoffrey has publicly dedicated it to me. 
so far I kept my thoughts to myself, but the bus has grown too dramatic to ignore much longer. Alright. Opinion improves. Usually it's easier to flatter. The poem is lauded, sir. You are invited to join Count Joffrey's feast, sir. Also, appoint a caravan master. Aptitude good for once. Hire jungle stalker. I think we need a jungle stalker. Circumspect, travel speed, let's choose no other travel options. Customize route. How do we just start on the travel? Accept travel plan, yes, there's about 10 things we can even tune for the travel. Very well. Alright, so we travel from here to here. Feast, a fresh start. My vassal Count Joffrey is hosting a banquet. And time has come for us to depart. <coughs> The feast is in honor of me and all my magnificent accomplishments and feats. I do look forward to trying the spiced wine of Lake region as well as enjoying the local cuisine. Alright. Fair enough, so then we go down the ghost coast to Lake and attend a feast. We also have a quest guest list available. What a lovely time ahead of us, sure. Every guest is gathered in the Great Hall and our gracious host, Count Joffrey, has welcomed all of us to the feast. Right, you shouldn't spill drinks over your shirt. You could all tell Count Joffrey had too much to drink, even though he insisted on showing us how sober he was. That sounds like a great idea. Simply rising from his seat proved too much for him, and now I'm covered in stinking vomit. Alright, that went well. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. What a show you put on, that sounds like. Probably better idea. We do have prestige to throw, throw at such minor issues like that the count felt a bit unwell. Is there anything more jovial than a good feast? Guests throng to and fro, eating and chatting while flickering torchlight plays of every wall, light bouncing li like ladder around the hall. Of course, not everything is quite how I'd like it, but that's the nature of these gatherings. Next time, Things will be different, and the spice of change gives something to look forward to. Sometimes it's nice to simply sit back and enjoy the little things in life. Intent recreation. Alright, you lose stress. All right. 
right. Probably losing stress is a good idea. What? Right, does the geese think he has to claim that my ideas of warfare are misguided? Claiming that my ideas would break down the moment combat is met. What does he know, really? I would love a chance to settle this on the battlefield. Discussion on strategy. Alright, lose opinion. There's no option other than to lose opinion, as they apparently disagreed enough already, so... What can you do? Some feasting, indeed. The feast is dwindling down, and I find myself deep in conversation with my ruthless caravan leader. He inquires about my opinion on military strategies, a subject he is deeply interested in himself. It's a subject that interests me as well. It certainly is. It's a lovely moment, one that I've rather been looking forward to all evening, and it comes and goes all too swiftly. It's nice to be appreciated. All right, opinion increases. So, Mr. Joffrey apparently feasted as well enough. Daylight pours through the windows, and in just one moment the hall becomes illuminated. Most of the seats are now empty. Some servants hand me my weapons and take their leave with a cheery bow. What a pleasure it was to have you with us, Count Geoffrey smiles at me. Now it is time to wash off the traces of merriment and wine, and once more resume my duties as Lord of the Realm. Now I shall depart. All right, and we also. You only lose 50 in stress because you are greedy. Oh well. Finish feast. That's quite more involved also than in the older game when you go feasting. Alright, let's travel back. Mr. Count apparently couldn't hold his wine. Well, arrival. At long last, I'm finally home. There's nothing better than arriving back in Apulia after a long journey. I look forward to resting for some time, but the call of the road beckons ever onward. My caravan master, Turgis, reports we have churned need for 86 days and traversed five baronies. Thank God I can go inside again. Alright. Then we have the Grand Tour and Tournament still. No sheriffs appointed. This problem has happened in spite of your steward's average stewardship skill. Lack of sheriffs. Can we somehow appoint these by hand also? Also, right about quarter an hour left, and we even have some, even have some uh, viewership. So looks good. 
unworthy challenge. At first I thought the simple footman a fool for stepping onto the training field. However, the battle proved more hard fought than I expected. And it gradually became clear that he would be unable to stop his wild and vicious strikes from hurting me. Disarming him suddenly became a matter of life and death. I tried to show my relief when his sword finally hit the ground. I could use more people like you. Kind of seems like would be more useful to have him join the court then strike him down. It's kind of like, what kind of a ruler would you like to be, clearly. Fuhemond comes of age. I am proud to see my son no longer as a child. Alright, he also now has a helmet. Impeccable household. This happened despite your spouse's poor stewardship skill. It's good that the household stays good despite. Yeah, we should make the. We should be faithful before we can declare. Holy wars. Alright, there's some army movements. One of our vessels is doing something. Time is irrelevant. Depends if we usually do one one and a half hours, so in that sense time time might be relevant or in which sense you mean. Of all the buffoonery I have ever seen, in count Jeffrey's inane efforts to improve my relations with my neighbors, my good for nothing Chancellor has officially acknowledged Duke Richard's claim for county of Lanciano. Alright. Really we have skilled steward. A gift with four. 
The hustle and bustle is palpable among the traveling merchant stalls. The temporary sacks are stacked to the rafters and contain all manner of knickknacks. These pieces look expensive, but maybe they would be worthwhile. As the Duchess and I walk by one of the merchants peddling jewelry, she hesitates slightly as she leans for a closer look. Perhaps one of these would brighten the day for my esteemed Duchess. Right, and of course that costs money. You gain stress because you are greedy. Alright, the Duchess seems to be pleased. The gift of my company is bright enough. Certainly we buy jewelry for, for the spouse. That usually keeps them more pleased. My dearest Robert, it is so good to see you. I watch you as you dutifully rule our realm and would like to assist in any way I can. She looks over your shoulder. I may have... Well, let's not dwell on what I did in the matter, but what I will say is that a mutual acquaintance owes me a favor. A silent breeze moves through her hair and I can't help but gaze at her magnificent features, tempting to etch them into my mind. She tilts her head and looks at me expectantly. How did you? Never mind, please enlighten me. You have gained a favor hook on account Robert. Sure, that sounds good enough. can modify their contract. Fair enough. It would be good to be able to increase purity faster. We actually declare war on any other pretext. Your claim. Yeah, we can declare war on that. It's all armies. Let's move over to Messina first of all. Yeah, Lollards in Bavaria, one of the famous heresies. Duke Otto of Bavaria has announced the word that he and his vassals have converted to Lollardy. Yeah, having become disillusioned with the teachings of the Catholic priests, the nobles of Bavaria no longer consider clergy to be righteous and true. They believe their new faith properly aligns with the will of God. And they are distancing themselves from their former religious institutions. Yep, we are not certainly going to currently as we would like to have more faith to declare holy war on some of the... My skilled nephew has proven himself highly capable, especially in martial matters. There are some projects I would like to undertake in the county of Camarda, my liege. Encouraged improvements. Sir, 
it spends some prestige, but we have we have good amount of prestige. So let's see how our how our attack because we have like 2,000 army and they have 115. So this should be sufficiently successful. Strategical impasse. I am sitting around the map table with Count Abelard and Count Robert discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Abelard uh, eagerly points out all the prime targets we should immediately send raiding parties to village while Roberts nervously mutters about how we should avoid unnecessary engagements and fight a war of attrition. It is my right to decide ultimate course of action. I know we can employ both strategies. We have muscle skill, so we can employ both. That's of course the best choice when you have the skill to do. Skill to do so. Right, we are in Messina and now we can march over. First battle. To get an idea of who is winning in war, you can always look at the war score in the lower right corner. Indeed, we are winning. Will not accept yet, so no enforcing demands yet. Let's move over to press siege then. Already someone here. Alright, that's also apparently Muslim, so let's see when we march over. It's also unpause the game so that we actually move. There we go, now we attack them also like. Let's see how our, how our seas is going, at least there's a bigger flame. is near, your war score is at 100%. You are now able to enforce demands. Yes. Shouldn't need to exchange prisoners, rather enforce demands and we win. Right, to the evil duke proper. Damn your seventh grandfather, you are much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. War one. Apparently ended up in the next war. Slaughter at Lentini, that sounds like a good way to, re to be remembered in history. The sl slaughter at Lentini. New war. Alright, we are now war with them. 
Let's just go over. Over to give them a warm welcome because they insist on having more action. Not surprising that the neighbor neighbor neighboring shake declared a war. Let's see how the war score is doing. Alright. A nice cheat at Shake Najib should should do it. Nice shiny turban also. So then we wait, wait and uphold the seas to hopefully get war score that allows us to also enforce demands there. We can unlock a new perk for Master Lifestyle. Sure. Control Territory Defender Advantage. Alright. Oh, st strict Organization. Increase Control Encounter Progress. That sounds better. So. At least we have bigger fire here now. Let's see how the war score is doing. Very far yet, will be a long siege because they do have like 66 soldiers here, so kind of not worth attacking compared to continuing the siege. Right, they are in turn going to lay siege here with seventy-six soldiers. Valuable prisoner captured. Sheikh, Sheikh Najib himself was captured. So, would think that war score would be yes. We can enforce demands with the Sheikh himself captured. So, the wordless Duke Robert may wisdom ever elude you. I know when I am. Defeated, it seems I am left with no choice but to comply with your demands. He should most probably disband army. Because we finished the wars for now. The Pretender Monk. And that's why you should support my claim on the Byzantine Empire, the monk says, prostrating himself before me. You will gain an ally you can trust and all the support you may need. This monk is an obvious fraud. He's not so called unjustly disposed emperor of the Roman Empire, but he is useful, despite being a low-born peasant with a made-up claim. An excuse for war is an excuse for war. Uh, kind of not interested in going to war with the Byzantine Empire, because some crazy monk comes to the court. Yep, like uh, about as great idea as going to war with the Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> yes. Alright, would be a good point to save the game also as we actually won the war. It was still pretty easy because the siege won, yes. And 
we captured Syracuse back, so... We have a lot of advice available, but let's see how we are doing. Right, we are... Haha, <laughs> yep. That's kind of also... You can do the Iron Man mode, but even then you can save to exit the game, so... There's of course, you know in Ultima 7, there's the kind of like, when you save the game, one of the companions says, uh, I have a bad feeling about this, because the theory behind the joke is that the player will do something risky after they have saved the game, so... Bad feeling about this, but in turn... Also save because this kind of game may crash. So that's also one one very good reason reason to maintain saves. Uh, let's play a bit longer. Might finish finish uh, in quarter an hour. As so let's resume and technically we could also declare war on the shake and also get rid of him. And certainly our claim to shake them. And that doesn't cost much prestige, so... And we have gold, so... Raise armies and let's go. These are not very strong, like the very small shake toms, and we have even slightly bigger army than before. Child of my dynasty, my daughter Emma has given birth to a daughter. Felicia sounds like a good name. May you grow strong and wise. And let's see how this goes. Would imagine we shouldn't have too much trouble with 200 soldiers. And siege begins. We march to war, siege begins. be going well enough, so your force is captured, at least we captured some of the... Your sister Emma died. Oh, oh well, we gained some stress, not good. I think this should put the war score on very good footing once the siege siege is done. Pretty easy siege still. There we go. Do think that yes. We can now enforce demands. To the abhorrent Duke Robert, your low character is the subject of Greek plays. You are a much greater foe than I imagined in order... Alright. Shake was displeased. Disband armies. Now we have most of Sicily also. Alright, we can won the slaughter at Castro Giovanni. 
active invitation called Rogers Hunt. Sir, sure. let's go for a hunt. Greetings, my implacable liege. You are cordially invited to the hunt in the highlands of Catania. Together, our hawks will make short work of their prey. Sir, sure. and then we have to do travel arrangements, and of course. Right, Baron will be our caravan leader and you will not arrive into the hunt in time. All right. Court physician's knowledge increases, at least something went well. Apparently the hunt didn't last very long. Matilda comes of age. Has done well in her studies. Of war and combat, though females rarely did that much in those. Ah, hello there, Donald Crump. That's an interesting name. All right. How close can walk to an enemy? Getting personal. In our latest correspondence, Count Vidal of Ferra Fermo made a mention in passing about the administration of his realm, as if the subject would interest me. These letters are supposed to be strictly diplomatic in their nature, but of course they sometimes stick into mere personal topics. All right, better opinion, sir. Faction created against you. Your bishop's poor learning skill caused this problem. Preaching unorthodox doctrine, all right. Faction created against you. The county of Syracuse has given rise to... All right. Clearly some Islamic factions. <laughs> Think of the duck. Mm. Duck is fine also. Hard rule. Dread gain plus twenty percent siege progress against revolts plus fifty percent faction military power threshold of vassals. Plus 20. Sir, hard rule sounds like useful ability. Your brother Humbert died. Your acquaintance Musa Fradin died. All right. My prisoner has died in dance, and that isn't too worrying. Died from his wounds. Hmm, most probably from the earlier war. All right. We have a lot of advice available. Culture, that we already kind of learned the culture view, so let's skip that lesson. County control. Marshall can increase, yes. 
fourth positions. Yeah, do know we can grant all kinds of positions like antiquarian. We have none of good learning. Inventory. You have acquired your first inventory artifact. Alright, we have rough gemstone. Alright. Interesting. Rightful leash. You are not the rightful leash of a vessel. This will lower the opinion of you and make them give you less taxes and levies. You should strive to be the rightful leash of all of your vessels. Open realm you certainly reason can't roads sir. Indeed. to designate the region protecting against factions sometimes you simply have to put the peasants in their place yep Then there's the last remaining uh, shake Tom in Sicily. Let's see, like we should have. Let's see, do we have Casus Belli? Yes, we have a claim because we. Let's declare war and raise armies and see if we could not get rid of the shake. So let's see how this goes. They at least have a bit bigger army, they have like 500 unlike the earlier. 200 something armies we fought, so let's see how that goes for them. A secret exposed. A secret truth has reached the light of day. My nephew, Count Robert, has copulated with my daughter Emma. Such things cannot be accepted outside of marriage. claim still that they are lies because it's kind of like do not think uh, there is any useful
My nephew Count Robert has brought forward undeniable evidence that my grandson Aldemar was fathered by none other than him, O oh, mother. I am not sure of what to say or how to feel. At least it is all but in the open now. Yep. Side of my dynasty. Alright. Still, we get that window and there's still it's Count Robert's son, so let's see how the war goes. Looks like we are winning. And valuable prisoner captured. We captured the Sheikh himself already, so let's see how the war score is doing. Yep. We can immediately press demands because Mr. Sheikh is already our prisoner. To the cocky Duke Robert. Damn you, seventh grandfather, you are much greater foe than I imagined, you know, they put uh, and so on. They usually sent the same letter. App of domain limit, yes, we should create new minor domains and this was also still slaughter at Palermo, sir. Now we have all of Sicily, so. Right. Propose marriage between my brother Turkil Estreid and your daughter Emma de Hauville. Sure. Diplomatic marriage. Alliance fought with King Knud the Fourth. Unsure if the Danes are. You gonna fight the Byzantines? Most probably not. At least not yet. We were already succeeded that by some crazy monk. Didn't exactly feel like fighting the Byzantines yet, but now we control all of Sicily, which is nice. Clearly the popularity of fighting the Byzantines is considerable. And do think that in reality there was something related to that. Also, we have done almost two hours, and it being also also good time for the skunk to retire here. We'll thank all viewers and see who we will raid. So. Thank you all for joining our skunky, skunky first play at Crusader Kings 3 and we certainly had a good time and thank you all for joining also some new viewers which is nice. So hopefully you enjoyed some skunky Crusader Kings 3 and this game will certainly stay in the program. It has even more options and things than the second game so certainly please this far. So let's see who we will raid. Let's see who's playing what. Do we have any interesting Sledge so LP is playing civilization. That's a good game to raid from having played this. Let's see. Yes, they are playing Civilization 6. Sir, Mr. Protogen, let's raid you. Oh, poor. So let's go for the raid and
for now. We will most probably see tomorrow. We'll publish new program to the Telegram news channel for the coming week, which is a short week because we'll be departing for von Fasold on Thursday. So there should be streams on at least two of the three days, would say, because need to also pack. So let's go for the raid. Remember to give the protests and our greetings, and we will. Good night.